Hey, how's it going guys? Thank you for tuning in again to another episode of Trail Boss Mafia. Today I have a cool surprise for you guys. I'm gonna be making a four-way air inflator slash deflator for your rig, right? Or my rig in this case. You know, there's other videos on YouTube how to do this stuff, but in case you guys have not come across those videos, I'm making one for the mob, all right? So stay tuned, let's go ahead and get it. All right guys, so uh, first off, here's the uh, the parts list real quick. I got a 50 foot quarter inch diameter flex Zilla high pressure air hose, all right? This is a pretty cool one, nice color too. Uh, reusable uh, fittings for the hose. You need a manifold, right? You're gonna hook up your air supply down here, your pressure gauge up here, right and left side air supply. I got two different gauges right here. I got a digital one and an analog one. I don't know which one I'm, I'm gonna be using yet. More than likely this one here because this one uses batteries and I don't wanna be caught on the trail one day when the batteries go out. And there goes that, right? You need your barbs to split it both on the left and right side for the tires. Your uh, thread sealer tape. Your ball valve to release the air and uh, stop it from de deflating or e uh, inflating. Your chucks for your air, uh, air valves on each tire and some hose clamps all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and start uh, unpacking everything here and get this ball rolling all right guys so first thing we did is i laid out the hose here because we'll be trimming it in half or cutting it in half so i went to uh, laid it down halfway mark is up there brought it back down just to be as precise as possible all right so we're gonna go ahead and cut it real quick There we go. We're gonna use one for each side of the truck. One half for the driver's side, the other half for the passenger side. Forgot to mention guys, when you cut these, you wanna make sure these are as straight and flush as possible, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and fix that right now because you can't see it's at a slight angle. There we go. Same thing with this one. Sorry, I wish I had some better pliers for this, but that's all I have right now. So when you guys throw out your hose out here on the side of the truck, you know, you got the one half of the hose right here, the driver's side, and the other half. Got it over here, passenger side, all right? You guys notice I didn't go straight from the rear tire to the front of the vehicle, all right? So what you want to do is you want to make sure you uh, simulate the slack you're going to need when you're filling up or airing down. So I just give myself like an extra six, seven inches over there. Come over here, make this loop because I'm gonna use part of that material to tee off into that tire. And then I'm gonna come back over here and hook up to the air source, whether it be a portable pump, or one that you have mounted for onboard air inside your hood, all right? So I got my two pieces of hose meeting over there and both sides have that extra slack right there that's gonna tee off into the front tires. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start cutting this real quick. You can still see I have a little bit of slack over there. I got this hose here, so I'm gonna cut about 20 inches. A 20 inch section, all right? So I'll measure it with my tape measure. Mark it there where I'm gonna cut. And mark it here. And I'm using a Sharpie and a tape measure just to keep everything as uniform as possible. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do my first cut here. And again, I gotta cut this straight, all right? See how it's kind of slanted there? Oh, that one came out better. I'm just gonna fix this here real quick. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna use our T-barb quarter inch and I forgot to get quarter inch hose clamps for this so hopefully it holds when I'm inflating and deflating I have no leaks all right and here's where this is gonna go just like that bam this goes to that wheel right here 
and we're gonna go ahead and do the same with the other side. All right, so you can see now, start to get a better picture. You got the rear tire one over there, front tire setup, coming straight to your air source, and you got the same issue going on over here. Rear tire, front, air source. All right, so you guys can start seeing how it's coming together. Next up, we're gonna be connecting these uh, reusable hose fittings to each one of the cut ends of the hose. So I'll have one on the front driver's side to the air source side, which is gonna go into the air manifold, both of these, and the front passenger side, right? These here are reusable, which is pretty freaking awesome in case you ever decide to switch up hose color, brand, or even just uh, replace the hose if it gets damaged. All right, so just gonna go ahead and slide this into the hose first. Slide that in there. Should really lube it up, but I should be able to just get it in like that. Es lo que ya dijo. You wanna make sure it goes all the way into that little base. Ooh, it's gonna hold on nice and tight. All right, now, now you see why it's important to make sure your cut is as straight as possible, right? So what you're gonna do now, slide this on here, start twisting away, hand tighten it first. Once you can't hand tighten it, get yourself wrenches or something to help you with the remainder. I'm not gonna get it too tight, just for the sake of not damaging anything. That should be enough to hold it. There you go. Just slide that sucker on. There's one. I'll go ahead and do this side now. And we're gonna do the same for the other two sides, all right? All right, now that we have these installed, we're gonna go ahead and put the tire chucks on each one of the fittings where the tires are gonna go, all right? Super easy. Just come over here. I'm gonna use some Teflon tape before we put them on to ensure we don't get any leaks. When you do the Teflon tape, make sure you apply it in the direction that you'll be spinning the, uh, the fitting. All right, because if you do it the other way, your Teflon tape's going to come undone. Don't need that much. All right, and tighten that. And put your truck on. All right, you will have to come and tighten it with some pliers too. There we go. Nice and snug. Slide this back up. And this is the uh, locking type. All right, you put it on, lock them in place. They won't pop out.
Right up next, everyone, we're gonna go ahead and install this manifold onto those ends of the hose. So to do that, we need to get these three chucks off right. So the reason for that is that hose, driver's side is gonna go on the right side of the manifold, passenger side goes on the left, and we're gonna put the air pressure gauge up top there, all right? You might need a little bit of leverage when you're doing this. They are on pretty tight. That's one. You pretty much do the same for all three. And you will also be removing this, all right? Because that's where our on-off valve is gonna go. All right, guys, for this bottom fitting right here, this quarter inch uh, air hose fitting, you will have to clamp onto it using some vice grips and an adjustable wrench and just kind of like counter leverage it because when you take the other chucks off you kind of lose your fulcrum points and it makes it hard to do unless you have a vice grip somewhere or vice i'm sorry that's the only other way you're going to get it off all right there you go it came right off and you're left with this sucker right here so we're going to go ahead and put the rest of the pieces on and i'll show you guys how to do that as well and so up next we're going to go ahead and install our pressure gauge all right get that little slack piece out of here and same thing applies we're going to apply the uh, teflon tape in the direction of the spin and if you block the air pathway just a little bit it's no big deal it's just teflon tape air is pretty smart it finds ways finds ways to move around all right so again got your manifold right here and go ahead and screw this in top hole all right so you got top left right your air supplier we're gonna come deflate to tighten it pretty good all right make sure this is facing in the direction that you'll be holding the manifold when you're uh, getting your pressure reading all right so in my case I'm gonna be holding it like this so we're gonna have this facing your way we're gonna have two other hoses popping off from here. All right, gonna go ahead and uh, put these two fittings, right? The ones on the front of the truck. Gonna put them on the left and right side of this manifold. And same thing applies. I'm gonna put our little Teflon tape. Go on the right side, righty tighty. Snip it. and use your adjustable wrench or whatever you have laying around to tighten the rest. Nice and snug. Now we'll do the other side. A little bit of wind breeze came through right now. Kind of threw me off there. fix that little kink later now we're gonna go ahead and get the little uh, ball valve let's 
screw it to the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and screw the ball valve on now. You notice there's some red thread sealer here, so once you screw it on, make sure that's the position you want it in. It's gonna be pretty tough to loosen it later. That got tight pretty fast. I think I'm gonna go one more turn on that. Be good. That's a turn. There we go. Air on or deflate on, off, on and off. Once you get that on, it should look a little something like this. All right, super easy so far and all we have to do now is just hook up the air supply in my case I need to hook it up to the battery of the truck connect it right here and uh, I'll show you guys how to deflate and inflate using this so far I've plugged in one chuck to the tire it's reading right below 40 psi and go ahead and plug the other one in and make sure we have consistency throughout all four tires Sure, this one's locked. It is. All right. Still reading about 40 psi. Let's go ahead and try the other ones. reading here just in case 41 psi all right so again this is reading 41 psi and <clears throat> this stays at a constant 39 ish psi Before I air up, I obviously have to air down, so I'll just give it a try. We're going to try and go down to about 30 PSI, just for the purpose of this video. There we go, right above 30 PSI. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is check with my other pressure gauge. Make sure it's consistently measuring around 30 on all four tires. All right, this one's at 33. Thirty-two, so there is a variance of about two to three PSI on this gauge to that one. So it's something to keep in mind when airing down. This one's going to show it's lower by two or three PSI. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hook up this hose right here. It's hooked up to my compressor and we're going to air up. Still showing there too, right above. 30 psi so actually 
it might be good. It might be pretty accurate. All right. Let's go ahead and air up. So here we are at about 39 PSI. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the truck off. Oh, I to release this though. Make sure it's cut off. I'm gonna go ahead and manually check each tire too. Again, consistency. All right, so the rear driver's side, 38. Seems about right in accordance to uh, the analog gauge over there. Thirty-five. All right, let me do that again real quick. All right, there we go. Thirty-eight. All right, so not bad, guys. In case you're wondering what kind of air compressor I'm using, I'm using the uh, All Top air compressor, 180 liters per minute, 150 psi, and this is a pretty good company. I have the recovery straps, and I've used them a few times. It doesn't fail me. You have a purge valve here that releases air uh, once it senses that it's already at maxed out PSI, which is 150 according to these ratings. But all in all, pretty happy with this kit, guys. And here's what it looks like. What it would look like when you're airing up or down. So there you pretty much have it guys. I'm pretty uh, satisfied actually with the results of this compressor. 
in this little uh, DIY setup here. If you guys are interested, just comment below on all the parts I used. And I'll go ahead and uh, put a link to all the parts I use in the description of the video below. I don't know how interested you guys might be. You know, I don't want to assume things, but uh, again, just comment below if you're interested. And I'll go ahead and do that if you want to tackle this, this stuff yourself all in all with the parts, including the compressor. I paid about 220, 240 bucks. If you already have a compressor, you'll probably be paying about 120 to 130 and just the uh, the hose materials. All right, so let me just wrap this up real quick, guys. One thing I really love about this setup here is the extremely small footprint it carries uh, once everything is put away inside its bag. So I did get this compressor here from All Top 4x4 for about 200 well, everything together was about 200 some odd dollars. So I think I paid about 150 bucks for this compressor here, approximately, right? And it comes in this nice little bag. Now, the cool thing is, after I built this uh, DIY uh, four-way inflator deflator setup, I was still able to fit everything inside the original all-top carrying case it came with. And everything fits in pretty easy. You don't feel like you're kinking hoses to just make it all fit right and that way you don't have hoses all over your uh the bed of your truck or if you put yourself in your back seat your hoses aren't tangling up everywhere you know so it's pretty nice i'm very happy with the setup my old setup was just a little uh vi air 88p <laughs> man poor thing was struggling to fill up 33s you know with 35s it took me like four or five minutes per tire to come up from about 20 psi to 35 and that thing will get so hot too uh, took me about 20 minutes. Sometimes I'd have to let somebody else borrow it and You could only imagine How much more time that took You know, so this sucker here. I'm gonna put in the back of my truck for now And there's my old compressor this little sucker right here So this one I'm actually gonna keep as a backup and I'm gonna keep it in my uh, little Corolla my beater Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I've been MIA, moved into a new house. Everything is still a mess, as you can see. I've been trying to settle in. I've been going to work, working long hours. I mean, everything is all over the place right now, and I've been itching to make this video for you guys, but now that I finally got the chance to, it felt good, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right, guys? And if you guys are uh, interested in getting some Trail Boss Mafia merch, we do have uh, merch uh, for apparel, trailbossmafia.com, or go to our Instagram and uh, click the link in our bio. You can get decals there too. Also, if you want lubricants for your engine, Amsoil, go to victorsynthetics.com. That's what I use in my truck, which is actually gonna have something to do with the next video I upload, all right guys? Again, thank you for watching and stay mobbing.